today lecture i am going to find the value of x and y of this linear equation so let's see the answer so here writing the given x plus 6 by y it's equal to 6 and the next is 3x minus 8 by y it's equal to 5 so this is equation 1 and this is here equation 2 now i so many times remove the y part and get the value of x now this time I am going to remove the x part. So here you can see this is 3x and here x. So if I multiply on equation 3, on equation 1 with 3, then that also becomes 3x. And after do the subtraction, then you can get the value of y so easily. So writing here, multiplying, multiplying equation 1 with 3. So this is now 3x and here 6 into 3, 18 divided by y and this is now 18. So this is the new equation third and draw it right there. So this is the third equation. Now after that uh, the next is you need to subtract the equation 2 and third. Okay, so here writing subtracting equation. equation third and second so third equation and or second equation that I'm going to subtract so third equation is now 3x 18 divided by y that's equal to 18 and this is here second equation 3x minus 18 by y it's equal to 5 so this is minus and here this is minus minus that change to plus and this is minus. So this is plus and minus that terminated. And now here after the next is. So the next is so with this we can write 18 by y and here 8 by y and 8 plus 5 that is equal to 23. And the next is here we can write 1 by y that's common and here you can get 8 plus 8 and this is now here 23 and i think this is minus is there subtracting so that there i am doing some little mistakes so this is now equal 18 minus 5 that is here 13 plus 13 okay and after doing this 18 minus 5 that is so uh, 13 now after that let's take 1 by y is the common so this is now 18 plus 8 and this is here 13 so 1 by y and this is now 26 and this is here 13 let's do the cross multiplication then here we can write y equal to y that move there and 30 move on the down so 26 by 13 that comes okay so this cancel by two times so now here it cancel by two times so here y value is now 2 that come and after that this y value you can put on equation 1 or 2 so here i'm going to calculate this place putting y value in equation 1 so equation 1 here x plus 6 by y equal to 6 now then after here y value is 2 now so y value is 2 here so x and 6 by 2 equal to 6 then x equal to this is here or uh, 6 by 2 that come 3 equal to 6 now this 3 moving on the right so x equal to 6 minus 3 so here x value is now 3 that come so this is the answer so x value is now 3 and y value here 2 so this is the most simplest way we can achieve the output of this linear equation so one time going to repeat this all so first here write the given then here i'm terminating the value of the x part so for this 
in equation 1 we should multiply with the 3 then 3x and 3x up is the same then equation 2 and newly made equation subtract that then you can get the value of y and y value put on any equation then you can get the value of x so i hope guys this video is the helpful for you so now in this video it's over so thanks for watching see you next week thank you